This is Sammy. Say hi. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Look at that. It's so cute. My first time and my only time using a Ouija board. It started to move. There is some scary presence in that house now because it does not want to stay there for not even one night. And I sleep with our arms about now. Mm, yeah. Yo! What you want, what you really, really want. Yo, what's up, dumplings? Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Vicky! In today's video, I will be doing a mukbang with my dog. I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to do that. It would probably work better with a cat, but my family doesn't let me get a cat, so I will, I will do it with my dog, Sammy. My favorite food ever, I think it's onigiri, so this is what I will be making because dogs can eat it. That's it. It's my favorite duke. Food duke? <laughs> It is my favorite food and the dogs can eat it as well. Dog, by the way, onigiri is this uh, Japanese. It's like a rice bowl with tuna inside and it's amazing. And I like to put like mayo inside it, sriracha, soy sauce, stuff like that. I'll make a version for my dog which he can eat without any of that stuff. So I will get to feed my sister because uh, I assume she would want some, right? Yes. Yes. This is our task for today, make onigiri and then do a mukbang. Anyway, let's go make onigiri. My dog is over there barking at nothing. <laughs> He's literally barking at nothing. <laughs> okay, we're in my kitchen and we actually recently bought 5 kilograms of sushi rice. But I'm pretty sure we should have like a small packet somewhere here. Okay, so we have this desk of sushi rice. I don't recommend getting stuff like sushi rice or Asian market stuff from Tesco because it's very overpriced, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if this is... <laughs> I'm kind of liking this angle. So I don't think I'm going to film the whole process of me making the sushi rice. I'm just gonna wash it and then make the rice. And then um, I can show you what I put in the tuna mixture. This is. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Who oh, is Sammy? This is Sammy. Say hi. My collaboration partner in today's video. I really hope it's not dirty behind me. Sammy, show yourself. <laughs> mm. Oh, I have this little cat bowl I can use. Something about purchasing tuna cans without that little thing to open them up so you have to use this thing oh my gosh. don't you know I'm a savage I'm a killer <laughs> is this not on? I thought I turned it on okay so the rice was not cooking this whole time anyway I'm a savage That's how I make my tuna filling. Okay, I will put the tuna. Oh, the tuna. You can use salmon. You can use chicken. And oh, my alarm! What a triggering noise. Let's not hear that again. So then I will put the mayo. Um, Japanese mayo is actually nicer than the Heinz one. But I don't have some because it's quite expensive to get here. Some sriracha. Some sesame oil. So that because there was already oil in that tuna soy sauce. I don't know black pepper. I don't know if you. I don't know. Should I? You know what? I'm not gonna. Mm. It may not look that nice, but it's actually really nice. Okay. So here we have the rice. Here we have the mixture. Soon I will try to form them. I actually forgot to mention that Sammy loves tuna so much. We have this thing where we say that he is partly a cat and also a squirrel. He loves tuna. So I think he's going to be happily surprised with this. Uh, I have shorts on underneath by the way, just so you know. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to be happy with what I'm making him. So let's shape the tuna. I have more their gloves on. We don't have any other gloves here right now, so <laughs> yay. This is so hot right now. My hand is burning so bad. Okay, let's begin. It still has to be hot when you're making it. Let's deal with the pain, girl. 
Oh, oh that's so hot. Making it flat-ish. And then putting some of the tuna in the middle. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, oh. It looks so cute. Okay, shaping it into a triangle after, you know, you've added the rice on top and everything. And then you just wrap it up in the seaweed that you have. This is my first onigiri. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh, I am squeezing it and I shouldn't be squeezing it like that, but ah! Look at onigiri. I'm so excited for Sammy to try some. I am going to obviously make a version for him. Oh, should I make a mini version for Sammy, like an even smaller than this? Oh, she looks do you know well you don't know but um actually i should be doing an exam right now right now i have a quiz to do it is open for 24 hours so i have 24 hours to do it but once i start it i have 30 minutes to complete it and i should be doing this right now but the weather is so nice outside my family is not being extremely loud for once so i thought it was the perfect opportunity to you know film does this look like a good triangle to you if i play around with it too much it always ends up not working out so i am going to continue to make the onigiri and then i'll be back to you for the mukbang no sammy continue your asmr i'm sorry okay like an hour later i did the laundry la 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 Romantic Sunday. <laughs> it's right here. There's three for you, three for me. There's two smaller ones. Sammy, now's not the time. What is that plate then? So these are the ones for me and my sister. These are for Sammy because they have like normal tuna. This is normal tuna for Sammy in case he wants extra. He's just gonna tell me when he does. <laughs> this is our extra tuna. And today's smoke bag with my dog and my sister in the background. I will actually be telling a story time. My first time and my only time using a Ouija board in our old flat. No. <laughs> my sister. Did I have to be here for this? Yes. My sister has. Sammy, stop licking my thigh. My sister has not been wanting to step foot in that apartment back in our home country, Bulgaria. She has not been wanting to step foot there ever since the Ouija board time. Accident. Accident. This is his onigiri. <laughs> on the floor. I'm gonna open it up for you. Look at that. Wow. Sammy, you're not looking. Booba. <laughs> Sammy, he, w he just went to eat his his dog food. He doesn't even like his dog food. Yes, he does. Come on. Yum. Om, yum, yum. Eddie, I'm Ooh. gonna start stealing your food. It's working. Shh. Sammy, yum, yum. Sammy rated from 1 to 10. <laughs> 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 so this story time, as I said, took place in my home country. I was around 15, 16 years old and basically I would go there once a year in our childhood apartment and have a sleepover with my childhood friends. And because my parents, when I go to Bulgaria, sometimes they don't come with us. So I was there alone. My sister wasn't there yet. Where were you? I think she was in the capital or something. I was home alone in that apartment where nobody lives at anymore for like years so I invited my friends and we decided to do a witch board okay I'm gonna start eating because I'm so hungry extra aisle <laughs> please tell me you see this okay extra sriracha <coughs> Sammy's watching me really scarily in the background my hands are just shaking. Okay. Mmm. Wow, I love it and it so much. Mm -hmm. Sammy, I don't know how you couldn't finish your piece. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. Continuing the story time. We gathered in my apartment, in the living room specifically. 
and decided to make a DIY Ouija board. We didn't have an actual one and we weren't gonna go and spend money on an actual one. I mean, we barely even had money to buy food for that night. Though we got pizza away, that was really fun. Made our own DIY Ouija board and we decided to turn off absolutely everything. And when we turned off everything, we sat on the ground, just like this, and we put the wish board in front of us. We wrote absolutely everything and decided to start summoning a ghost. I don't remember if we had candles or not, but it's possibly that we did have candles. And funny thing is, it started to move. Like the actual thing when we asked questions like, who are you? It would move. We all said that none of us moved it. It could have been the pressure of like our fingers placed on it. But you know, you never know. I mean, it was around October maybe? Was it? Was it like Halloween time? It was cold back then. So I think it, could it was have been around december -ish. That time, yeah. October, November, December, some time there because yeah, it was cold outside. We would ask questions and I just, one thing I remember is that the ghost ended up, ended up saying his name, it was a man, and they said it's like a pretty old ghost from like a like hundred years old. And so we decided to ask a historical Bulgarian question, which was when was Tsar Simeon born? It's like this uh, king, that this Bulgarian king from back in the day. So we asked him when he was born and it did spell out the year because none of us knew the answer. So we were like, well, might as well check if it's one of us because maybe if it gives a right date, then it is real. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, I explained that so bad, but yeah, it ended up giving us a date, it was wrong, we googled it after, but yeah, we don't, we don't know who it was, and nothing really scary happened, so that's just kind of disappointing. Yeah, please knock on wood, you shouldn't joke with these things. Yeah, anyway, Yeah. <laughs> nothing happened after this. We just kind of we said goodbye. We made sure yeah, to say goodbye. Yeah, our lump here is like playing tricks everywhere. Oh, yeah, our while. lump here is twitching a lot lately for no reason. So if you brought something here, I'm kicking you out. So Can I get one more in here. Yes, pick one. Serve yourself. So we said goodbye to the ghost. And the ghost said goodbye to us. We Did parted it? ways. I don't know. What. My memory is getting kind of blurry about this time. I don't know why. I remember that you said that the ghost's name was Vladi. Oh, really? I don't remember. <laughs> no, that's what you said. But I yeah, I think it was it, it it was some like very typical, very typical Bulgarian name that the ghost was named. I don't remember, but I think we asked it like, "Are you an evil ghost?" And I think it said no. I like to believe it said no. But ever since that one time, by the way, that night, one of us was really scared. We pranked someone. I don't remember what. Wow, I, this is a really bad story time because I, my memory is getting so bad. Maybe it's a ghost deleting my memories. Doesn't want me to see it, to remember it. <laughs> Sam is fighting his own I'm ghost. I'm trying right to now. delete it out of my memory, but I can't. So my sister thinks there is some scary presence in that house now because she's does not want to stay there for not even one night. I am okay with staying there alone when I go back. I have no trouble with that. I think what made me brave against those things is the time I had sleep paralysis when I was 12, 13 years old, which I can make a whole separate video about. Excuse me, booba. So yeah, I think ever since I had that sleep paralysis, I've gotten braver when it comes to ghosts. Also, when I was very, very young, I had, um, I thought I was haunted really badly. So my parents took me to this like witch woman and that witch woman made me like uh, a foil thing. I don't know, this is like a, an, even another story time. You had time. terrible nightmares, I think. I had like severe nightmares. I would sob all the time not wanting to go out alone. It was really bad. I remember how terrifying it was. So I have supernatural paranormal history behind me. So now I just don't care. Whereas my sister, she has never experienced anything like that. She only hears about it. So she's terrified of those things. No, I'm just trying to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> Not to, I know that... You go towards it, I run away like, far away. <laughs> and that's the smart thing to do. Turn I know. No, what, what does it happen in movies? When they see a scary thing, they run towards it and they die. I fight, I run. 
Mm. And I sleep at our aunt's house now. Mm, yeah. Mm. She goes and sleeps over at our aunt's house. Mm. I don't know. I'm just not afraid of those things anymore. I think what I'm afraid of right now is myself. So the actual paranormal activity things don't scare me. Like panic attacks, they scare me. But yeah, this was my Ouija board experience. I did it. Nothing really scary happened. I think the only scary thing is that it actually moved. But you know, this can be explained by a lot of things. Yeah, of course. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm getting a wig soon and I'm going to be making some cosplay costumes ideas for you guys so I'm very excited about this. Sam is sleeping. I'm gonna call it a food coma though he barely ate anything. I made him a second one. I'm disappointed in you, Sammy. I'm gonna do one more bite of this and then I'm gonna end it here, maybe. You gonna take one more? Um, how many did you have? Two. Okay, there's three each. You said you're, you could make a lot of food. I made so much rice. But whenever you make it, you always end up with not that much onigiri. So that's why I sometimes prefer to like have it separate mm -hmm. instead of making it into a triangle. But mm -hmm. it looks really nice as a triangle. I never managed to do it in there. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no, I, I still have tuna in my mouth. sister and my dog left me. This is Aftermath. I am sitting on the floor finishing my onigiri and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Yay! I'm going to end this video here guys. Thank you so much for watching, for listening to the story time. It was kind of a failure when it comes to both my story time and Sami eating his onigiri. This is this is his onigiri. Still sitting on the floor. Sami's sitting on the floor too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more mukbangs or more story times. Like for example, the story times that I mentioned, I have a lot of interesting ones, I think. Especially paranormal activity ones. So yeah, this is it for today's video. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Okay, bye. Много е полезно за душата. He's looking at the onigiri.